What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're gonna to talk to you about SoFi. So today was a very interesting day. I wanna break it down on some of the data points, what they're saying, and what shorts are trying to do. So I'm gonna go over all the things that you need to know, but first, make sure you just hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So SoFi did close 0.88% in the green today. Not all that crazy of a day, but generally it is moving upward. You didn't have the crazy volatile swings. So I think that's generally a move in the right direction at least 21.9 million shares were traded today 44.6 is the average and so on a daily basis i look through hundreds of stocks just sometimes quickly scanning sometimes just for me doing videos on like today i think i did a what was it a lucid video and a couple others and one very common occurrence that did happen is there wasn't that much algorithmic trading so same with sofi so 21.9 million shares were traded looking right here majority of just this alone kind of makes up that volume especially if you match it up with the dark pool so there was a lot of activity both in the dark pool and secondary market so big money was buying and at the same time, the reason why SoFi was able to move up is because of this institutional purchasing. And what makes it very weird is there was no specific news to SoFi today, nor was there any SEC filings. There was GDP that came out first thing, so that gave the broader market a nice little push higher. And even technically with PCE coming out tomorrow, you didn't see really any hesitation or pullback. You kind of saw it still hold strong. So maybe, just maybe, of course, because this has never happened before, maybe people know something ahead of time big money. Uh, so this is why maybe across the board, bigger institutions were buying in anticipation of positive PCE, thus giving a very nice bump up in the stock price. So we'll just have to wait and see until first thing. But like I said, big money was buying flip side, you had shorts really still trying to suppress SoFi. So you did have a little bit more of a give and take shorts today did increase 4.54 million shares 17.87 percent of the free floats being shorted that works out to be 185.61 million shares overall are being shorted cost per average 0.97 percent and then utilization 77.78 percent so in reality this is kind of crazy stuff and just wanted to bring this up as well because this has started to go up it looks like over this last three months 23.2 percent but the short interest DTC is 3.75 days. So that's ultimately how long shorts hold their position. So of course, the higher the number, uh, the more comfortable they are holding their position, smaller the number, more day trading ish it is. So they're typically holding it about four days. In reality, that is kind of high especially when it comes down to shorts. So something to kind of keep in mind as well. Um, whoever is shorting SoFi has become very, very, I guess, just they thought that they had an infinite money glitch and that SoFi was going to stay within a set range. But the market does appear that it wants to break out. Larger institutions are buying. So this might be a very rare opportunity that shorts do lose their shit. Pardon my French. So going over some data points, like I said, no real news today, nothing like that. Options, 2.05 million in calls, 1.14 million in puts. 44% of all the options being done today were optimistic and bullish. And just to give you a quick overview, so this is the current open interest. Of course, tomorrow is Friday, so May the 31st. So all of these are gonna be very, very relevant. So you are going to see shorts probably increase their position once again to ensure that it does stay below $7. And that's probably why shorts did increase as much as they did today, just to prevent it to get anywhere close to $7. Because even if you look at my watch list, a lot of stocks were up at least 3%, 4%, 7%. So if you didn't have that suppression coming from shorts, then realistically, probably SoFi would have been roughly around the 4% range, 3%, something like that. So getting very, very close to that $7 range. And like I said in the past, shorts do not want that. So you are going to see once again, another battle tomorrow because currently 29,000 in open interest at the seven, 26 at the 750. So tomorrow it will come down to PCE numbers and how 
bad shorts really want to try to suppress SoFi. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, but nonetheless, like I said, big money was getting really into SoFi today, both the secondary market as well as the dark pool. With it closing at $6.91, it is trading between this S1 and the pivot. So $6.79 will be that next strong support that you'll want to watch for. Kind of bounced off of that general area as far as the low today. So $6.81. So that's kind of a good thing once again. And then vice versa, $6.91 cents will be that next strong resistance slash target so you are going to have that resistance at that stage and also at seven dollars so so far will definitely need a very nice push coming from institutions and pce in order for it to get above seven so tomorrow will be a very very interesting day once again as i kind of insinuated so on the actual chart let's break that down so it is still lower percentile of the boiling about you do see stochastic a nice bullish deviation but it is at 15 so that is considered very oversold so if pce does come in line better than anticipated then you could see a very nice rush of value investors similar to what kind of happened today and number of retail investors weren't really buying SoFi today so it was more institutions rather than anything so I think probably retail is tired right if you think about it retail has been through all of this ups and downs SoFi as much as I really like the stock it really sucks to hold any gains so I think just a lot of retail is hesitant to get very overly excited about what might be coming in the next couple trading days so I don't know, maybe that's why they're not buying the dip and they're just kind of holding their position. Let me know your thoughts. If you are buying and if you did today or intend on doing it tomorrow, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And my apologies on the timeliness of this video, a little bit later than I ideally would like, but still it is what it is. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And with all that, appreciate all of you watching.